Hello and welcome to Japanese Garden Bristol. Uh, the last video I put up I said that I'll be back in April. Well, things have changed. Um, I'm not gonna be well, I'm not gonna be back in April. Um, I'm just gonna put videos up every now and then because uh, I don't get time to put them up once a week. So um, I've got quite a few waiting to go up. Um, I will get on with them and get them up when I can. So in this video, it's gonna be a quick video because I've done it many times in other videos, but you gotta watch the whole video to try to see what I'm doing. This video, I'm gonna do a quick video of um, how I'm gonna screen this sliding door here. So, so let's get into the garage and I'll show you how it's done. sliding door. Okay, so we're in uh, the garage now. Um, I had a bit of a problem. Um, I do it every time. I get ready to do the door and realize the curtain needs ironing. Always iron the curtain, get the creases out, otherwise they won't come out. Um, Right, I got this curtain from a place called Danam, uh, six quid, um, which is a good quality one. There it is there. Oh. Um, the one I had before was from Asda and it wasn't that good. It was a two pound one, so obviously cheaper, not as good. Um, it ripped uh, a little bit, I ripped it somehow because this door gets used a lot in and out, sliding for the filter, so um, I'm gonna put a better quality curtain on, but six quid. It's nothing. So, okay, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Um, the tools you need, okay, clear silicon. Okay, make sure it's clear silicon. You don't want a colored silicon sticking out. A stapler, okay? You need one of these wall stapler. Possibly an armor if the stapler don't go in. Staples don't go in. And obviously, plant your staples just in case. Okay, so. I'm gonna get it set up, I'll oh, back in a minute. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, um, hopefully you see it. I've got a pull, I've already cut this roughly to size. Okay, just get it roughly cut to size. As you can see, I'm sh just showing the top hair side of the curtain there. I'm gonna get the silicone, run the silicone along, and tape Staple it, okay? So, Get this curtain lined up a bit better. Okay, um, I'm gonna run a bead in along the top here. You don't want it oozing out everywhere. So don't do a massive load of it, just a little bit. Then what you're gonna do is pull the top of it onto the silicone. Okay, and once you get it in place, rub it down, make sure everything else is in line. Rub it down, you can see when you rub it down, it's stuck to it. Okay. Try not to get on the hands. Okay. Any mess on this side you won't be it won't be seen because it's gone against filters. Okay, so then what I'll do, I'll staple it. Okay. That's the top there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'll show you what I'm gonna do and then I'll put it on time lapse, is I pin it on the top now. So I'll pull this sheet up, put it over the other side. Like that. Okay, and then I'll seal, put silicone on every bit of wood they're showing. Okay, so when you get the shower curtain you press it down onto it and pull it all tight then staple it okay so i'll put it on time lapse now and uh because you'll be boring watching me do this catch you in a bit
Okay, so I've done that now. Uh, it's all silicone on. I'm going to pull the sheet over and hopefully it'll go down nice and straight. Very limited for room in here. Uh, that is a big problem. Oops. I'll try not to let it drop on the silicone. Keep it taunt. Got to be a contortionist. Steady, nice and tall. Okay. Um, so, what I've done is done all the silicone on all the wood, put the sheet across, rubbed it down with my hands, and uh, now I'm going to staple it. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished. Okay, so I've put the sealant on and I've stapled it all around the outside. I'm going to whack a few staples through the middle, um, but first I'm going to lift it up and see what it looks like. Moment of truth. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. Looks really good. Really pleased with that one. Okay, so I'll we'll go and put it back in. Okay, so it's a moment of truth to see if it actually works. See if it fits and looks good. There you go. Very pleased with that, looks really good. I'll put it in the bank. Okay, so there's my Japanese screw. Um, we got a staple stuck out down the bottom there. I'm gonna get that out in a bit and push it back up. So uh, yeah, that's how I do it. Um, you can see it on other videos of mine, but I thought I'd show a quick video of it. And uh, if you want to see how I made this and the, the um, moving bed filter inside, then look at my other videos, it's all there. Um, everything I do in my garden, I've been putting on YouTube, so uh, you should be able to find it somewhere. Well, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you subscribe and uh, keep watching. I've got a lot more coming up this year. Uh, the thing is, I'm finding a problem trying to edit it all. So uh, we'll get around to it. And, uh, yeah, I've got a lot more to show you guys, so uh, keep watching and I'll catch you next time.